Welcome to the arm movement segment of Form 101. The arms are critically important for stabilizing the body by offsetting the imbalance that the driving leg causes in the running stride. They're also often an area where runners can make major efficiency improvements. This segment covers seven essentials of a good arm swing. Then check out the activity segments in a running start for exercises that will develop these essentials. First, the opposite arms and legs should move in sync while running. Most of your kids will already have this concept down, but sometimes they lose coordination when doing drills. If you notice any runners with arms and legs out of sync, be sure to correct them right away. Second, the arms should pump forwards and backwards in line with the direction of movement, just like the legs do. The arms should not swing across the body. This is a very common form flaw that wastes energy on counterproductive motion. You can help your runners break this habit by having them keep their elbows close to the body. Third, the arm should swing from the shoulder and not from the elbow. Many runners generate more motion from their elbow joint than from their shoulder. When the arms move this way, they can't balance the running stride or support the forward motion of the legs. To encourage an arm swing that originates from the shoulders, have your runners keep the elbows bent and focus on driving the elbows backwards. Fourth, hold the elbows at about a 90 degree angle for maximum control and power. The angle at the elbow should actually fluctuate slightly during the arm swing, but shouldn't stray too far from 90 degrees. Consider 70 to 120 degrees a good range. This will help ensure that the hands pass the body at about hip height, which is our fifth essential. Avoid holding the arm so high that the hands pass at or above the waist. When runners do this, the arm swing can't be as full as it needs to be to support a long and powerful stride. It's also possible to hold the arms too low, which is similarly inefficient. Sixth, swing the arms powerfully through a full range of motion. Here's an example of too little arm drive. Distance runner's hands should move from their hip or a bit further back to their chest. When sprinting or running uphill, the range of motion should be greater and the arm swing more powerful. In these instances, the hand should move from the back pocket or a bit further back to the chin. When tired or trying to sprint, many runners will neglect the back swing. Some will also overemphasize the forward swing. Finally, keep the shoulders and hands relaxed to avoid unnecessary straining and wasting energy. The shoulders should be down and not tight. The hands should be relaxed. They shouldn't be clenched in a fist or hyperextended. But they should be stable, not flopping around. Here's a happy medium. That covers arm movements. Here are some reminders, and be sure to check out our other Form 101 segments.